Hey makers this is Thruveen and in this episode I am going to talk about how you can implement multi select checkboxes in the power apps gallery so let's say for an example here i have my gallery control and here i have the different positions over here now over here i want to provide a filtering capability in form of checkboxes in my one of the previous episode we talked about how we can apply the same type of filtering multi select combo box but here the requirement is that customer is specifically looking for this kind of checkboxes then how you can implement the same functionality over here we are going to talk about that in depth so let's say i'm selecting this and this so you can see that my data is filtering based on that for that we need to use one of the tip and trick over here so without further delay let's get started but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me and subscribe my channel to never miss any updates from me so here i have connected a dataverse table over here called employees and here is my gallery control where i'm just printing couple of values over here now the thing is that i need to implement multi select checkbox functionality over here so how can we get started let's talk about that so first of all what we need to do here is here we need to add one gallery control so let me just add one vertical gallery control over here so i added one gallery control and from the layout let's select the blank layout so i selected blank layout and now let me do one thing let me add one checkbox control over here so select your gallery go to the insert and search for checkbox over here and let's add one checkbox control for ourselves over here so i just added that and let's reduce the width of the template i'm selecting height of my gallery control as 400 and i'm just selecting width as parent dot width and inside that i have this control let me just increase the size little bit okay and select the gallery again and let's decrease the template size so i'm just going here and template size let's just decrease this template size to uh 60 okay and this is how it looks like perfect my gallery is properly set now now the thing is that here we need to provide the data source but before that let's just add one combo box in the background so let's select our container go here and let's search for one combo box control and again same like my previous video of multi select filtering here we need to bind our drop down so first of all over here let's bind it with the choices and let's say for an example this is my position column so position column is my choice column so let's bind it over here in this way like choices and inside that let's have a position okay so it bind perfectly now let's see the value and you can see that it perfectly show me the stuff over here if i select multiple it is showing multiple value over here okay now we need to copy the same item code over here and go inside this gallery so this is my gallery let's rename this gallery as gallery uh, checkbox position so i'm just renaming that over here and over here in gallery's item let's provide this code so in this data source let's provide choices of position and basically it will start populating that and over here select the checkbox and inside that let's provide like this item dot value that's it and it start populating the stuff over here now we need to write some of the code over here so let's say for an example when someone click on this particular checkbox we want to add that in the collection so let's write on check event over here so i am just going and clicking on check event and over here i will just creating a collection collect and we can just provide like call selected items call selected position and inside that i'm just providing like this item dot value because it's a choice column depending on lookup and multi select this item code will be changed a slight bit which you need to change okay so we just did it and same way on uncheck i want to remove this value so let's do on uncheck and here i will just write a code remove and in remove i will just apply a condition like call selected position and i will remove simply the current item which is this item so let's provide it and we are just maintaining that collection okay 
After setting up on check and on uncheck event, we simply need to go to our combo box control and over here we simply need to configure one property default selected items. In default selected item, we just need to provide a code like this filter and inside that what we are trying to do here is we are filtering the choices of position and we are well filtering the value from the selected collection that we have set up when we are checking or unchecking this stuff. So we just need to check that whatever selection is there by default it will available over here in the combo box because combo box is providing the very easy functionality for the filtering so at the end behind the scene we will use combo box to filter this data but we just created a front end in a way that over here when we select that in the background in the behind the scene combo box select this two item defaultly when we click on that and for that this is the code we have used now let's play this and let's have a look so let's say i'm selecting junior developer and you can clearly see that as soon as i select this it is showing me this value over here let me select one more and you can see that it is showing this value as well over here okay if i unclear the value from here you can see that the value is going from here perfect now we need to use the exact same technique in order to filter the data so let's go over here and let's just apply our filter condition so let's use filter and let's copy the id of our combo box so over here this is my combo box let's rename that as combo box uh, position multi-select okay and let's copy this id of the control and let's go again to this code and over here let's use comma and then provide like position in position in and then provide combo box dot selected items that's it and our work is done and now let's say for an example i selected this so it is showing you a junior developer i'm selecting senior developer so it is showing me now both the values over here if i'm select project manager and remove other two then it will only show me the project manager over here right so it is working absolutely fine but when it's blank it is not showing me anything so for that let's apply one more condition over here so let's format this code and that's how it looks like so over here let's just apply or condition and inside that check if the combo box is empty or not so we will simply use is empty function is empty and inside that let's provide combo box dot selected items and along with that we will or we can also check like is blank function is blank and inside that as well same way uh, the control dot selected items and same way comma and this is what my condition was let's finish the or bracket and that's how the code looks like so final version of the code is looking like this filter and then ultimately we are using combo box and at the end what we will do is we will simply select our combo box over here and we will simply make the visible condition as false over here so let's unhide it and over here now this is how the final looks look like i'm selecting this so it is showing me only this this and this this and it is working absolutely fine hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up subscribe my channel and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me looking for any paid consultation or any kind of training then visit my website www.powerplatformtrainings.com all the links to follow me on my instagram and twitter are available in the description box have a look and follow me on all my social media handles with this this is truvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day Goodbye.